Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In today's video, we're going to install PyCharm Professional on a Chromebook. So the first thing we need to do is enable the Linux development environment. To do that, I'm going to click on the launcher here and find my settings. Click on settings, go to the left hand side, go to advanced, click on that, and this tab should expand and you'll see developers. I'm going to click on that and where I see Linux development environment I'm going to click turn on and then next. It'll give me a username which is based off of my email I believe. I'm going to keep that as is and a recommended disk size which can be changed later. I'm going to keep that as is. I'm going to click install and that's going to take a few moments so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to maximize this and increase the font size so you can see what I'm doing. I want to make sure everything is up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands, which means and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade. And I'm going to use a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter. This will take a few moments, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is enabled, we'll want to download PyCharm. So I'm going to open up a browser here, and I'm going to search for PyCharm and hit enter. And we'll have this first link that comes up from JetBrains. I'm going to click on that. So this is jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. I'm going to go over here and click download and I want to download the professional version, the Linux uh, version, which is the .tar.gz file. I'm going to click download. Okay, once PyCharm is downloaded, I'm going to open up my downloads folder and I'm going to right click on this tar.gz file. I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to paste this into the Linux files. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to pull up a terminal here. I'll list out my storage and I see I have the .tar.gz PyCharm. I'm going to unzip that with sudo tar-xvf, start to type PyCharm. And I want to put this in the opt directory, so I'm going to do a dash c slash opt and hit enter. Okay, once that's done, I can start up PyCharm by typing forward slash opt, then start to type PyCharm and hit tab, to autocomplete, then bin, and then start to type PyCharm. So I wanna have the end be PyCharm.sh. I'll hit enter. And the JetBrains user agreement is gonna come up. I'm gonna confirm and continue. Now PyCharm will pop up and I'll be prompted to log into my JetBrains account to activate my license, start a free 30-day trial, or buy a license. At this point, PyCharm is installed on your Chromebook. If you like this video, like and subscribe.